hey guys so our next exception that we should learn is invalid operation exception when this exception comes we have to know if there is a question around a try catch block graphics and you should know that the exact error which is going to come invalid operation exception that's where you will be able to pick your right answer so let's see when this error comes okay so here what i am doing i have taken a invoke method activity and there is a list look at the graphics properly and there is a method called sort i am using okay pretty simple now let me show you the variable okay what what are the what how it is used there are two different arrays and there is one list okay so if you look at the list list is a array of string array okay list is a the list contains these two arrays if you look at the uh, how it is uh, defined new list of string array from array 1 array 2 okay so how so you getting it right so this is not a simple list of strings rather it's a list of arrays that's all okay and these are the two arrays a b c d e f okay now what i am trying to do here i am trying to sort a list which contains string arrays it's not if it is simple strings you can quickly you know you can uh, uh, without any problem you can sort it but here the list itself contains array of strings okay now in such a situation i'm going to show you okay how do you really because you have to practice it on your system also i'm going to show you how do you create that but first of all let me run it and show you how that invalid operation exception error comes okay you got it right so any anywhere you i mean uh, let it first come then i will explain so here it has thrown an error let me hit on continue i will show you the final error continue when you debug uh, it will pause right so it is pausing so i have to hit on continue now here if you see what is the error system invalid operation exception so that means whatever operation you are trying to perform it's a invalid that's the meaning right so what operation i was trying to do short on what i wanted to do on a list and what kind of a list is was that the list was containing arrays that means a list of arrays and i am trying to short that string arrays and i am trying to short that and it gave this error okay so what i am trying to focus you can encounter this invalid operation exception you may encounter the invalid operation exception when when you are trying to uh, short an array or collection whose objects cannot be compared so while shorting it compares right with all one data with all and then try to compare and then short it let's say 1 2 3 4 5 i have written in different order 5 3 1 2 like that so it will check all the values then it will compare and then short it accordingly 1 2 3 4 5 final output would come in this case it is not able to do that so it's an invalid operation because you are using a, a b c d e f and this itself is one one element inside that list and it doesn't understand how to compare okay that's why it is saying what operation you performed is a invalid operation you got this definition okay now let me i will come back again to explain how do you really create this okay this is important but let's see one more example in this example i am using a for each loop simple and i am using a list one okay i am using a list one variable look at it carefully here the list one is initiated with what value 1 2 3 it's a simple list of integers okay 1 2 3 very simple no problem okay what i am doing i am using a for each loop and while it is looping through the existing list so already it has taken a list and is trying to loop through the already available data let's say 1 2 3 is available right by default as per the definition here 1 2 3 is available and i am trying to loop so it, it has taken the value 1 2 3 okay in this one 1 2 3 is there and i am looping inside that and within that i am trying to add a value into it what value i am trying to add 4 if you look at the property i am adding 4 into a already running list it is looping okay now at this point this will become an invalid operation so what is the definition i say changing a collection while iterating it okay so let me run it so this are a lot of information that you are gaining uh, from my videos so uh, please do experiment okay don't just uh, listen to me 
you try it on your UI Pro Studio is important. Okay, now look at it. At this point, what happened? Add to collection it did, but again while it went to the for each loop, it said there is an error. So what is that exact error? If you don't continue, okay, this is the error which has popped out. System dot invalid operation. That means you are trying to enter a data while the list is already booked for something it is booked for looping right so you are trying to add it so because of that it was not able to loop it was not able to do the job something changed in the list value inside something has got changed so it is not able to loop and it threw an error okay you can go through the details so experiment this now the very important thing as i said how do you create this example on your uipath studio creating this string array is pretty simple right what you do you hit on this browse for types sorry um this array uh, array of strings right so you click on array of t and then here you select string so that way it becomes system dot string if you highlight elsewhere right it will show you this is array of string so this is everybody knows now how do you create this list list containing array of strings so how do you do that hit on this button first okay now let's do browse for types and here you should type system dot collection and stop okay what you should type system dot collection and stop and here you will find something called microsoft core library ms c o r l i b and inside this there is something called system dot collection dot generic here is the list okay so you select the list because this list should contain array so what should i select here array so here look for array and select array and what this array should contain it's a string right so he should click okay on this you should click okay on this and then what you have is a list containing if you see there are two square brackets that means a list containing string okay this is one point the other point how do you define it if you look at it on my screen i have written new list of in the bracket of string and then instead of a square bracket here as per the expression you have to write parenthesis okay from array 1 array 2 clear so this is how you define it and experiment it. okay always experiment okay you should not go with anybody's word you should always experiment and learn from your experience okay so thank you guys for watching it i hope um, there should be a value addition to your learning journey please do type completed once you complete any video on my channel thank you guys we'll meet in this next video bye bye